All right, I'm here with Samsung's new Galaxy Note 9. This is Samsung's phone for power users, and it is distinguished by the S Pen stylus built in. Now, this phone is going to differ a little bit from the Galaxy S9 and last year's Note 8, but it does have some carryovers. Mainly, you're going to see new features in the S Pen stylus and also one or two in the camera on the back. The Note 9 looks like a cross between last year's Note 8 and this year's S9. It's got a big 6.4 inch screen with narrow bezels, those trademark curved sides, and a glossy back with a fingerprint reader just below the camera. Thankfully, it's not off to the side this year. A Note isn't a Note without the S Pen, and Samsung made the Note 9 stylus a whole lot more interesting. You can still use it to navigate, write, and draw, but it now comes equipped with Bluetooth capabilities that let you use the S Pen as a remote control. For example, long press the button to launch the camera app, double tap to switch to selfie mode, and then tap again to take the photo. You can customize the actions and the settings and control up to seven devices this way. When you place the S Pen back into the holster, it will fully charge in under a minute. The Note 9's cameras are almost exactly the same setup that you get on the Galaxy S9 Plus, but there is one difference. The Note 9 has new AI software inside that will automatically detect one of 20 scenes and optimize the camera settings to try to make your photo look its best. Camera AI is on by default, but you can turn it off in the settings if you don't like it. Oh, and if you blink or somebody moves, the Note 9 will prompt you to retake your photo. There's an 8 megapixel front facing camera too, and two 12 megapixel rear cameras, one with a dual aperture lens that will switch apertures for better low light shots. The Note 9 makes a play for longer battery life with a huge 4000 milliampere hour battery. You charge up the phone through a USB-C cable or a wireless charger. Samsung's brand new 15 watt accessory called the Wireless Charging Duo can charge two devices at once. Inside the phone, you're looking at a top-of-the-line Snapdragon 845 processor and either 128 or 512 gigabytes of internal storage. That is huge. And there's, of course, an external storage slot as well. Good news for everyone is that the Galaxy Note 9 keeps the headphone jack and both the phone and S Pen are fully water resistant. You also get the same two external speakers as the Galaxy S9 and the ability to plug into any large screen with a compatible HDMI adapter. With high-end specs and a few more tricks than last year's Note 8, the Galaxy Note 9 is on track to draw in Note 5 owners looking for an upgrade and other power users looking for a new phone with the most tools. If you like what you see with Samsung's Galaxy Note 9, you can pre-order the device on August 10th and it will arrive in stores on August 24th.